I'm doing some uh, print tests to see what is causing the ringing or the ghosting in my prints. I'm getting little ripples in the uh, x-axis. And I've come to the conclusion that it is the acceleration settings, either in the firmware or in the, uh, the slicer. Because if your acceleration settings are set too high, then you get the print head vibrating minutely when uh, it moves. This is a test print that I made up, a test model that I made up in Fusion 360, which uh, has several different shape holes in it in the uh, vertical axis. And that's usually where you're getting the ghosting on. But this is uh, 5,000 millimeters per second squared for the acceleration settings. And I'll print several of these models out at different acceleration settings and see the effect of the uh, various settings in Cura. What acceleration settings do is it's how fast your print head gets up to speed. Say you want to print at 50 millimeters per second. That's how fast your print head will accelerate and then how fast your print head will also decelerate. This is uh, printing with the acceleration settings at 2500 in Cura. So I don't know if there's any noticeable difference between 5000 and 2500. Oh, I'll look at the end result and see if I have any ghosting or ringing in the uh, prints. So I've got a square, I've got a circle, and then I've got a uh, uh, hexagon that I'm printing just to, because uh, that seems to be the worst kind of shapes to have is where you get the ringing and, and ghosting on the sides of those circles and squares and different shapes. So this is the print with acceleration at 1250. And this is printing with the acceleration setting at 625. It moves a tiny bit slower, but I expect the results to be a little better, less uh, ghosting and ringing. But I think the source of vibration on my printer are these uh, these rods right here because they're unsupported at the top. I may. I converted my A-Net A8 to an AM8, a metal frame. I may take these top supports and redesign them with a ball bearing to hold this uh, the threaded shaft. That'll help prevent a lot of the uh, vibration. This is printing with the acceleration settings at 312 millimeters per second per second. And you can see when the head is moving back and forth and it's not as snappy. I mean, uh, it takes longer to speed up and get up to 50 millimeters per second and it also takes longer to slow down. So you have less force on your on your stepper motor which is causing the vibrations in your frame or whatever in your belt or your uh, threaded rods so this is printing with the settings at 156 millimeters per second so this is going to be really slow you see how it uh, is very kind of sluggish moving. It's not snappy because the acceleration is, uh, is set really low and it takes a while to get up to 50 millimeters per second. And in that tiny little space right there, it never will get up to 50 millimeters per second. So the drawback is you have longer print times because it takes longer to accelerate but then you have less ghosting.
So I've got the various prints labeled C5000 down to C156. C stands for Cura and 5000 on is the acceleration settings. Let's take a look at the 5000. You can see a lot of ghosting and uh, ringing in the print. Ringing after the hole right here, here, right here. Flip it over. The bottom looks perfect, but really bad ringing right here. And a little ringing right there. Let's look at the print from 156. See just a tiny bit of uh, Z axis wobble on here from the belts. This isn't really ringing, that's more belt vibration. 2500 still has a lot of the ringing and uh, artifacting. Twelve hundred, you still have ringing right here, and a little, little one or two rings right after the circle, and right after the square. About six twenty-five. The ringing is almost pretty much gone, but you don't see any any ringing or artifacting right here or after the uh, the shapes. Same thing on the back. You don't see any artifacting. I'll uh, stack these up and I'll show you something that I discovered when uh, doing this test. So I've got these stacked up 5,000 down to 156 and look at the edges. The only thing I changed in Cura was the acceleration speed. But you can see as I decrease acceleration you get blobs on the ends of this, on both ends. So I don't know if it's a uh, retraction setting I need to increase. This end's really bad. No blobs, very minor blobs, and it just goes down to uh, one ugly print. So I'll have to do some more experimenting on this to see which uh, retraction settings is uh, going to affect the uh, the acceleration because 5000 is too much acceleration uh, 2500 is too much uh, about 12 1250 is also too much but then you get down to 625 and that's that'll work but you could probably go 900 to 1000 and still not uh, get the ringing in, in, with a metal frame. And 300, 312 and 156 are just way too slow to really be effective and you get really bad blobs. So there's 5,000 with all kinds of ghosting and artifacting. There's uh, 2,500 with some ghosting and artifacting. There's uh, 1,250 with very minor artifacting. There's uh, 625, there's 312, and 156. Here's the front, there's 5,000, 2,500, 312 and 156. So on an A-Net A8 you'd probably be best to set your acceleration to around a thousand because 625 looks okay except for the blobbing. I'll have to research that and see what setting I can tweak on that. And 1250 is too high and you get the uh, the artifacting here. This is how you get your prints to give up the ghost basically. Slow down your acceleration.